What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And um, I got an exclusive update I want to get to you guys if you haven't heard by now. You know, I'm pretty sure the Internet's been going crazy. So ain't really no first time news being broke on here. But uh, we didn't already heard about um, the D thing situation that's been going on. I kind of wanted to slow down on these videos until we have more and more updates. Uh, we heard the other day that uh, a couple hours after D thing ended up getting killed, it was another killing that happened in Harvey, Illinois. I kind of waited for a little while because I wanted to talk to a few more people before I speak on this because I wanted to make sure I had a lot of things on point because it's a lot of conflicting reports with this story. So uh, I'm not going to lie. I do find it a little interesting that all of a sudden in Harvey, Illinois, you got two murders in the same night within a couple of hours. You know, I'm not going to lie. I do kind of found that a little uncoincidental if you ask me a lot of people saying that that was to get back for d thing once i looked into it the more i looked into it the guy who ended up losing his life was a man by the name of seneca price he was 39 years old i hear all the rumors of dirk and the diss songs and the street shit and the get back and the bdk gdk war that threw me off because i would have thought in my head that you know maybe some chicago people might have been involved in this you know why was the get back in harvey you know, but the more I thought about this and I actually had a chance to talk to a lot of people, a lot of people been telling me that, you know, D thing been throwing parties. He been throwing shows. This guy was at that event. He didn't have the killers with him. He might have had people with him, but he didn't have those goons with him. So first thing come to my head is he must have been comfortable there. You know, uh, a lot of people tell me that this smell a little backdoorish you know i'm still not able to take it to the board yet because i still need a lot more verified but when i figured out um when i found out that this guy ended up losing his life now the police believe this is retaliation and a lot of people believe this is retaliation he's 39 years old a lot of this drill killings be involved with a lot of these young people, not somebody who's a couple months from 40 years old. So I, I see why people are running with the rumor that maybe this guy might have been involved in some backdoor behavior. And people already knew where to come get him from. He might have been a friend of D-Thing. He might have been a past friend of D-Thing. Uh, a lot of people saying this could be some personal shit and this might not be no op shit. This could probably be a personal dispute just because the get back was in Harvey if that was the get back but I'm hearing that was the get back that's why I say this shit is so conflicting and so confusing I'm not able to come to the board uh, right away with a lot of this shit because everything is still not put on the table but one thing I can tell you is that uh, if we kill everybody out of the culture, then who we going to have left to listen to? How are we going to expect the record labels to want to sign the artists and they see this shit going on like this? This is getting out of hand, you know, but I wanted to update you guys on that. I'm hearing that the get back happened and it's happening again. I'm hearing that it ain't been shootings in Harvey, Illinois, since D thing and left. You know, not just that one with that guy. I'm hearing it's been multiple shootings going on. I'm not sure if it's a beef going on. I don't want to be the one to start it. But um, that just throws me off that an older guy from a whole nother town, people are saying was to get back, which lead me to believe that maybe somebody might have gave up the drop on D-Thing, in my opinion. It's the homie truth. Blah, 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 blah.